Okay, guys, uh, so this is the second part of my recording. Uh, I am so sorry because uh, uh, someone called me and I was not able to continue recording the, uh, the class, but I'm going to continue now. So this is the second part of the whole class, which talks about uh, Washington Irving. Uh, now, the last, the last thing that I mentioned in the previous uh, recording was that was that uh, Tom, in the end, after he uh, got the treasure from uh, the devil and he became rich, okay, he started dealing with, the, with people, giving them money, lending them money, and in return, the, he, he took their houses, their uh, assets, uh, etc. So, uh, and so simply, uh, he's a usurer from the word usury, and I wrote this in the previous video, just double check that video. Uh, in the end, uh, Tom uh, was taken by the devil. The devil came in a horse and he took uh, Tom on the back of the horse and he went into the forest. And uh, most likely Tom was killed because as, as I said before, the devil stro stroke a deal with Tom that I'll give you the treasure, I'll make you very rich, but you have to work for me and you have to sell me your soul. So I'll take your soul. And that's why in the end, uh, Tom, you know, tried to, um, uh, or the devil, you know, came to Tom and took him on his horse. One thing that I want to mention before we uh, get uh, to the story is that uh, by, the end of the, by the end of the short story, Tom uh, became very religious person. He started going to the church, and he started, you know, uh, holding the Bible all the time with him. And so he, he was very religious person. He was very religious uh, person. So Tom thought that his religious, you know, uh, acts will, will save him from the devil. But in the end, you know, the devil came and hunted Tom and uh, left into the forest. And most likely Tom you know, was killed by the devil. Okay, now let's go to the, uh, to the, uh, to the short story itself and analyze some of the paragraphs here. Um, uh, first of all, you know, the, 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 fir the, the first fir paragraph here talks about uh, Tom being, you know, or, or, or describing, sorry, the forest itself here. Yeah, as you can see, as you can see, let me highlight some stuff here. Um, here we have a description of, of the, uh, of the place where uh, Tom is supposed to get into uh, the wooded swamp or morass. This is this refers to a forest that is so thick that that has many trees, and there there you will find water, uh, ponds, lakes, etc. And this uh, place is very difficult to walk into, so you have to be very careful. Uh, and then we have the next, you know, paragraph. Here we have a mention of uh, Kid. Now, who's Kid here? Kid is the pirate that hid the treasure in the forest, where the devil, you know, is supposed to protect. Because as I mentioned before, uh, the devil is supposed to protect the treasure, uh, which the people in the, in the village believe that Kid hid the treasure uh, in this forest. Okay, and now we have a description of, of, the, of the treasure here. Um, I just want to want you to go to. Yeah, so I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read here and and try to comment on some of the uh, things here. If you go to the last paragraph here, on the right side, uh, I'm gonna read now. Uh, about the year 1727, just at the time that earthquakes were prevalent in New England, and shook all tall centers down upon their knees, there lived near this place a meager. Misery, miserly fellow of the name of Tom Walker. And so here we have the introduction of the protagonist, Tom Walker. He had a wife, and this is his wife because I mentioned he has he and his wife are living uh, together, as miserly as him. By the way, miserly means that they are very, like they look in a very bad shape. They don't like to spend money. They are stingy. Okay, they don't like to spend money. They were so miserly that, and I'm reading now. That even, that even conspired to cheat each other. Whatever the woman could lay hands on, she hide away, or she hid away. 
a hen could not cackle, but she was on the alert to secure the new laid egg. Her husband was continually prying about to detect her secret horse. And many and fierce were the conflicts that took place about what ought to have been common property. So simply in this paragraph, it talks about how they try to get own of things here, okay? So uh, anything that they get hold of, uh, everyone has to decide which property uh, is this thing that they found. So in this case, you know, they live together, but they seem to be enemies rather than a wife and a husband because they are fighting and they are hiding, you know, their, their properties and their assets and the things that they find. And this is very, uh, you know, strange. The next also talks about how poor and how miser miserable this family is also. Uh, they lived, and I'm reading here, they lived in a forlorn looking house that stood alone and had an air of starvation. So here, look, the air of starvation means that they are, that when you look at the house, you feel like the people are very hungry, uh, hungry and they don't have food to eat. A few straggling strain trees, emblem of sterility. And here, sterility, uh, it means that the inability to give birth Okay, so these trees are symbolic because they symbolize, you know, the lack of birth, the lack of production, the lack of, you know, uh, of life uh, in this house because, because these cobbles live a very terrible life. Okay, so simply the whole paragraph here is describing the, uh, the house and uh, the animals also. Look here, for example, the description of the horse, a miserable horse whose ribs were as articulate as the bars of the uh, grid drill, of the, the grid iron, grid iron, sorry, uh, stalked about the field where a thin carpet of moss scarcely covering the ragged beds of budding stone, tantalized and polk his hunger. So here again, th they're talking about how the horse is also struggling from the poverty that this, you know, couple uh, is living. The, the horse does not have food and even, you know, the ribs, uh, uh, are very clear and you can see them because he's very skinny. Okay, uh, so, and this is all, you know, a story that talks about Tom and his wife. Uh, now here in this paragraph, uh, it talks about Tom's wife, how she was a, a very fierce of temper. She's very angry all the time, loud of tongue, she speaks a lot and she speaks loudly and strong of arm. So simply she not only speak, but she hits her husband. She's violent and she uses force to hit her, her husband. So, and this is very funny, but crazy at the same time. So uh, in the end, you can conclude that the, the, the life of this couple is not that, you know, beautiful life. Anyways, so let's go to the next uh, page. And here, one day here, it talks about how Tom started uh, walking towards the forest here. Let me read it quickly. One day that Tom Walker had been to this some part of the neighborhood, he took what he considered a shortcut homeward through the swamp. So simply here, if you remember, I said in the, in the summary of the story that there are two roads, one is easier but long and the other one is short, but is very difficult. And so uh, Tom took the short one, the short one, but this, the, this is the problem with the short uh, road is that, that there is a swamp, okay? That thickly grown with great gloomy vines and hemlock. These are like kind of very long trees. And when you look at, at this forest, you feel like, you know, this is a dark rather than a, a green, you know, uh, forest. Uh, okay, so here, this is a very, you know, the, the, the description of the forest where Tom Walker is supposed to walk in and where is he's supposed to find the devil because he found the devil in this forest. Okay. Okay, so uh, yeah, so the, 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 all these paragraphs are talking about, you know, the idea that he got into the forest and he explored the forest and the forest is very crazy, uh, difficult to walk in, etc. But the, the, what is interesting is, is 
is when he found uh, the devil here. Okay, so if you if you look at uh, okay, so Thomas, uh, sorry, Tom, uh, heard a voice of a person, you know, walking, uh, and and he he was like taking a nap, a short nap in the forest, and he heard someone walking, and he said, "Humph." or so he wants this person to, to be silent. And I, I will read from this paragraph here, okay? So let that skull alone, said the gruff voice. Tom lifted up his eyes and beheld a great black man. And here, this is the introduction of the black man, or as Tom calls him, the devil. Okay, now this is the time where Tom is supposed to, you know, have a kind of, um, a, kind of a relationship, okay? In terms of, you know, having money or having the treasure. Okay, he was exceedingly surprised having neither heard nor seen anyone approach, and he was still more perplexed on observing, as well as gathering gloom would permit, that the stranger was neither a Negro nor an Indian. It is true he was dressed in a rude half Indian garb, so simply the devil was, uh, or wore uh, clothes that are similar to the Indian garbs. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is the description of the person, the, 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 the devil. Uh, he scowled for a moment at Tom with a pair of great red eyes. And now here's the devil is speaking here. Okay, this is the devil speak, speaking. What are you doing on my grounds? Said the black man with a hoarse, rolling voice. And then Tom responded, your grounds, said Tom, with a sneer. No more your grounds than mine. They belong to Deacon. Beady, Beebody, sorry. Okay. Now, Tom said that this is ground belongs to this person, but in fact, this person, and there are other names that will be mentioned later, but, you know, refer to rich people. But these rich people gain their money illegally, and now they are dead. Their, their names are written on the, on the trees, but they are dead, okay? And now look at the response of, of the devil to Tom. Uh, the devil said, Deacon Beebody be damned, said the, the stranger, as I flatter myself he will be if he does not look more to, to his own sins and list to those of his neighbors. Look yonder and you see how Deacon Body is firing. So here again, so the devil revealed that this place is no longer for Beebody. Now he's dead. Tom looked in the direction that the stranger pointed and beheld one of the gray trees Okay, now on these, on this paragraph, it talks about how these trees have some of the great names of the people. Okay, like this is the first person, and here we have this is another person. Okay, uh, so these people, you know, got their money either legally, illegally, by by dealing with slavery or slaves, or uh, by do, by uh, working as pirates, or they gained their money through piracy. Okay, stealing ships in the sea. Uh, okay. It is interesting here, uh, this paragraph, because it talks about how, how uh, you know, the clash between the white and the black. By the way, you know, the devil is, is described as an Indian or a black, but he's not described as white. But now look what uh, we have here. The right of the prior of a prior claim said the other, this is this woodland belonged to me uh, long before one of your white faced race put a foot on this soil. This is very important because in this you know paragraph, uh, the devil is is saying that you, Tom, the white person, and your fellow or your your people came to this land and took it from us. Okay, now the devil, you don't know who is the devil, most likely. He's uh, an Indian, a Native American, okay? But he's saying, or he's sending this message that you, the white people, are settlers. You came to our land, you stole our land, and now you say that this is yours? So this is a, this is a kind of response that, that, the, that Tom is getting here. Okay, and now the rest is, is just a story. Uh, after after uh, he talked to the devil, Okay, the devil here talks uh, to uh, Tom and uh, tells him that, okay, let's strike a deal that I'll give you the treasure and you will, 
you will sell me your soul, okay? Uh, you will sell me your soul. Uh, he told uh, Tom about the treasure, and here, you, if you see here, the black man told him of a great sum of money buried by Kid, the pirate, okay? So now Tom knows that the, 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 the black man has a lot of money and, and he has a treasure, okay? Uh, okay, after, after, uh, after that, Tom returned to his wife and he, uh, because he, he refused to accept the devil's deal at the beginning. And he uh, thought that he should tell his wife before. And when he came back home, he told his wife, and here, this is the beginning. The first news his wife had to tell him was the sudden death of Absalom, Kron's shield, the rich. Pukenir. Pukenir he means a pirate also. Uh, it was announced in the papers with the usual flourish that a great man had fallen in Israel. Okay, Tom recollected the trees which his black friend had just hewn down and which was ready for burning. Let the free booter roast, said Tom. Who cares? How felt convinced that all had heard and seen no illusion. Okay, now I just want to take you yeah, here. Here. So in this paragraph here, uh, or in fact, the, the previous one, uh, Tom told his wife that he met the devil here. Look, uh, he was not prone to let his wife into his confidence, but as this was an uneasy secret, he, will, he willingly shared it with her. All her avarice, means greed, was awakened at the mention of hidden gold and she shrugged her husbands to comply with the black man's terms and secure what would make them wealthy for life. So simply she said that you have to accept what the devil said because this would make us rich. And that's what the, what the wife is saying. However, Tom might have felt disposed to sell himself to the devil because now here, Tom does not want to sell himself to the devil. He was determined not to, to do so, to oblige his wife. So he flatly refused out of the mere spirits of contradiction Many were the quarrels they had on the subject, but the more she talked, the more resolute uh, was Tom not to be damned to please her. So simply here, the, the Tom refused to uh, strike a deal with the devil because he does not wa want to listen to his wife. And in the end, that's what happened, okay? Uh, but his wife, you know, was very crazy. Uh, she determined to drive the bargain on her account and she went to the devil and she uh, left to the forest to talk to the devil and to strike the deal okay now what happened is is so crazy because yeah so this is a description of of his wife uh, going to to the devil And now after, after uh, his wife not, and after his wife did not come back, uh, Tom, you know, was very curious and worried about his wife. And he went to the forest to see, to see where his wife uh, was, okay? So, yeah, here you go. So, uh, so here in this paragraph, as he scrambled up the tree, the vulture spread its wide wing and sailed off screaming into the deep shadow of the forest. Tom seized a checked apron, but woefully sight, found nothing but a heart and a liver tied up in it. So here the heart or the liver, uh, you know, it could possibly be his wife's heart and liver. So simply the devil here kills his wife because his wife was very greedy. He, she went to the forest and she struck a deal with the with uh, Tom, and the result is that that his wife is uh, no longer alive; she's dead. Okay, but the funny thing about this is that you know we expect Tom to be sad, but look here what happened.
Yeah, so uh, here, uh, so, so, so this is page 113. Uh, there is like a page, uh, you know, uh, problem here. So we have to go all the way down to the last page here. But we have to do rotation. So we can, uh, okay, here, clockwise. Okay, another rotation. The last one. Clockwise. Okay, here you go. So, so after he knows that his wife was killed because he saw the liver and the heart, here's the, the thing. Uh, such according to this most authentic old story uh, was all that was to be found of Tom's wife. She had probably attempted to deal with the devil, uh, with the black man, as she had accustomed to deal with her husband. Uh, and I'll explain this. But though the females called, a female's cause is generally considered a match for the devil, yet in this instance, she appears to have had the worst of it. She must have died game, however, for it is said, Tom noticed many prints of cloven feet deeply stamped upon the tree and found a handful of hair that looked as if they had been plucked from the coarse, the coarse black shock of a woodsman. It's simply here what, what, what the narrative is saying here is that Tom's wife had a fight with the devil. She fought the devil because she was very crazy. She was very violent. And this is funny because she's not a, you know, a very uh, weak and crying woman. No, she fought the devil. And what happened? Tom found uh, a handful of hair that uh, looked as if they had been blocked from the coarse black shock of the woodsman. It simply means that that Tom's found the black man's hair, or simply, you know, Tom's wife was pulling the, the black man's hair, so she was fighting him. Okay, Tom's knew his wife prowess by experience. He shrugged his shoulders as looked at the signs of the fierce clapping, clawing, clapper clawing. A God said he to himself, old scratch must have a tough time of it. So here, the old scratch refers to the devil. Uh, this is another name for the devil. So simply Tom is funny here in saying that the devil had a hard time killing his wife, you know, so, but, but, but this is the funny thing also, Tom consoled himself at the loss of his property with the loss of his wife for he was a man of fortitude. So simply uh, he's sad for the loss of his property, but he's not sad for the loss of his wife. And that's why he consoled himself for the loss of his property, but uh, not for the loss of his wife. Even, he even felt something like gratitude. This is very strange, you know. He feel that, that, that the devil did him a favor by killing his wife, by getting rid of his wife, okay? So we go back to page 15. Okay, which page is this? That's page 15, 13. Okay, we have to do the view. You have to bear with me a second. Okay, another one. Another one. Okay, so we have to go page 15 now. Okay, so, so he, he believed that the devil made him a gratitude to the towards the black woodsman who he considered had done him a kindness. Why do you think he, done, he has done him a kindness? Simply because the devil killed his wife, okay? All right. So after the devil killed uh, Tom's wife, what happened after that? Tom, you know, agreed uh, on the devil's, you know, terms. He agreed to strike a deal with the devil. And so he, sell, he sold himself to the devil, sold his soul to the devil. And uh, so the, Tom is supposed to do two things. He has to work with slavery and he has to, um, Okay, so uh, so the devil believes that that 
uh, oh sorry, Tom believes that that by killing his wife, the devil did him uh, did him kindness or uh, had done him you know uh, kindness, which is very you know strange but understandable because Tom's life with his wife wasn't that beautiful. That's why you know he felt that uh, that that this was a good thing to get rid of his wife. As I said, you know, Tom uh, struck a deal with the devil, and he uh, agreed on the on the terms. Here are the terms that you you may look at. Uh, I will read them now. Uh, to do this, to do no objections were made, for it was Tom's taste. Here, the devil said, "You shall open a broker's shop in Boston next month," said the black man, "and I'll do it tomorrow." Tom said, so he, the devil said, if you do it next month, Tom said, no, I'll do it tomorrow. And then uh, the devil said, you shall lend money at 2% a month. And then Tom said, I'll charge four. So this shows how greedy Tom is, okay? Uh, Tom was very greedy. So, uh, and in this case, Tom will open a, a, a shop, a broker's shop, so he can lend money to people. And in this case, he can control them and uh, manipulate, uh, manipulate them. Okay, so, uh, and you shall, and here the devil continues, you shall, you shall extort bonds, foreclose mortgages, and drive the merchants to bankruptcy. So what is your, what is your uh, mission, Tom? You have to make all the merchants bankrupt. It means that you have to make them poor and you take their money, you take their assets, you take their houses, you take their companies, you, you don't leave anything with them, you take their lands. So in this case, this is your job, give money and exploit people, take what they have and leave them, which is very crazy. All right, so, uh, and the rest is a story here. Uh, Tom worked with people, he started giving them money, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but at the same time, he uh, used people, and he tried not only try, but he he took their their uh, their lands, their houses, and everything that they have. So Tom was was very greedy uh, and uh, was very crazy at the same time. But <laughs> Tom also was very uh, scared of of the devil because the devil will take his soul because Tom simply got the treasure by selling his soul to the devil. So he thought that he could get rid of the devil by going to the church or by becoming uh, a rich person. So here in this paragraph, it shows how, how Tom became suddenly a violent church goer, goer. He prayed loudly and strenuously as if heaven were to be taken by force of lungs. So simply here, that's very important here because it shows how religious you know, Tom became and he became religious not because of, you know, he is a good man, but because he wants to, to avoid the devil or he, he think that by doing this, you know, the devil will not be able to control him. But this is ironic that, that Tom goes to the church and he becomes a very uh, religious person, but at the same time he's using people. He he's taking their money, he's taking their land. So, and this is very uh, crazy. And in the end, as I said, uh, um, the black man came to Tom and took him on his back and most likely Tom was killed by the black uh, devil. Uh, and the last paragraph, which I find very interesting here. Okay, let me just, okay. Okay, just bear with me a second. Here you go. This is the last part of the story where, where uh, everything, everything that Tom had vanished and disappeared. So I'll read the last paragraph. Such was the end of Tom Walker and his ill-gotten wealth. Let the, all the gripping money brokers lay this story to heart. And here, this is like a story that uh, is addressed to money brokers. Or, or people who lend money, like Tom. Uh, the truth of it is not to be doubted. The very hole under the oak tree when, whence he dug kids' money is to be seen to this day. 
and the neighboring swamps and old Indian forts are often haunted on a stormy night by a figure on a horseback in a morning gown and white cap, which is doubtless the troubled spirit of the usurer. So simply, they, they think that, you know, uh, in the, the same forest where Tom met the devil, they can find spirits of the people. And these people are the bad people, like Tom, like the uh, Bee Buddy, and other people who, uh, you know, either got their money illegally through piracy or uh, through, you know, lending money. And then uh, everything that, that uh, Tom has, you know, vanished. If you go to the previous paragraph here, uh, it says here, Here, the trustees were appointed to take uh, charge of Tom's effects. There was nothing, however, to administer upon. On searching his office, all his bonds and mortgages were found reduced to cinders. So simply they were vanished. There is nothing to have uh, from Tom. In place of gold and silver, his iron chest was filled with chips and, and shavings. So that's what they found instead of finding gold and silver. Two skeletons lay on his table instead of half starved horses. And the very next day, his great house took fire and burned to ground. So simply all what Tom has, you know, or had before was, you know, burned and because, uh, simply because the way he got money was illegal by lending money to people and, you know, taking usury or interest from people. Okay, so uh, that's all for the um, uh, for the for today's class. Uh, um, <clears throat> so, so that's the that's all for today's class. Uh, if you have any question, please ask me on uh, messenger group. Messenger group. Uh, if you have any uh, suggestion or question, please uh, get in touch. Thank you very much, and hopefully this will be uh, very you know uh, clear and understandable. Uh, and have a wonderful day. Bye.